I would like to introduce you to Ingrid. She is my 1983 Chevy K5 Blazer. Uh, bone stock when we bought it five years ago. Has a 6.2 Detroit diesel in it, now turboed. Um, like I said, bone stock to begin with. So had half ton axles, half ton running gear, half ton suspension, half ton everything. Six lugs, nothing really ideal for wheeling at all. But spent the last five years making her how I want. So. Let's start off with the rear suspension and we'll work our way up to the front, show you the interior, show you everything. We have a shackle flip kit from CFM Industries and their shackle as well. This is a seven inch long shackle with the shackle flip kit. Um, great product by the way, CFM Industries makes a phenomenal product. Four inch lift, 63 inch long springs, corporate 14 bolt high angle drive line in the rear. Um, we have Dixie Peck 44s, been regrooved to spec 15 by 10 steel wheels, like I said, eight lug. Um, as for right now, we have 456 gears, nothing crazy. Uh, no locker in the rear, has a G80 GovLock Posi, Bilstein 7100 shocks. I know they're at quite the angle, but I had to do that because they kept hitting the spring perches. Um, have this hitch for now. I'm going to be getting rid of it as soon as CFM Industries comes out with their rear bumper center. Waiting on them, waiting on that. Hope to get it as soon as possible. Keep giving the guy a hard time to hopefully get my part made. So I want that real bad. Matches the front. LED taillight replacement. I have another tailgate over here. This tailgate's going to be going in. Way cleaner condition. I'm just waiting for a manual window regulator for that to get that in. Back over to Ingrid. What else do we have? Let's move on to the front. I'll show you the interior and the engine here in a little bit. A uh, whole lot more done to the front than the rear of the vehicle. Here is the CFM Industries front bumper. Integrated tow hitch or tow hooks here. Uh, I usually have another one here. Badland uh, 12K. I'm going to swap that out for a synthetic rope winch. Got my 30 inch light bar in the grill. Fabbed in. I'm still using the center uh, stock grill insert. I have LED headlights. I have LED fog lights down here. I really need to replace the lenses or get some yellow film or something to help with the fog. Off-road designs B52 kit in the front. This is a killer upgrade if anybody's wanting to do that. I highly recommend it. Four inch lift, 52 inch springs. DIY Hydro Assist setup. As you can see the box here, I got the DIY 4x end cap and then I just top tapped my uh, top plate for Hydro Assist. Works good. Steers kind of slow but it works. Uh, Off-road design disconnectable sway bar and I'll tell you what that is a must-have for driving these things on the street. It is probably the best thing I've purchased for this vehicle let's be honest. Um, Kingpin Dana 60 in the front. WFO crossover arm. Uh, it's the bent one for the seven inch lift. Like I said, Kingpin 60 front, dually hubs. It's still dually width. I didn't shorten it or anything. Uh, Off-road designs, braided stainless brake lines. What else do we got over here? Um, I believe I went with the Northwest Fab crossover um, steering bar. Uh, zero rate Adelifts, Adelief springs, and then I also have shims to kind of correct my caster a little bit. Uh, I still haven't driven it yet since I put the shims in, so I'll let you know tomorrow or next time I see you guys on camera how that goes. But it should it should be alright. I should have about six degrees, so I think it's I think it's plenty. All right, what's next? Engine, engine, engine. Six two Detroit diesel. Um, started. Well, that's what it started as. It's still a six two, but. It's got some mods. It has an ATS turbo kit on it. We modified the turbo kit a little bit to make it work backyard fab style. The uh, three and a half inch downpipe off of it, turbo blanket, all that good stuff. Rewired the whole truck, still have to do some more stuff on it. I have to do an AC system at some time because it gets like 110 up here in the summer. We like to wheel this thing in the summer. Hydro boost brakes, tapped in for the hydro assist. It's got all the power and stuff up there. Batteries are, have been relocated to the back of the truck. As you can see, all my wiring here is tucked away. Glow plug relay. Um, and then, yeah, that's my fuse distribution for under the hood because my batteries are in the back of the vehicle. Um, wish I had a little bit res bigger reservoir for my power steering. It really needs it because I kind of, you can tell, it just gets slow when the power steering gets hot, but it works all right three and a half inch exhaust 
dumps out under the cab. I I kind of want to bring it all the way back to the back. We can smell it sometimes and I don't really like that. Have a high angle long slip drive line in the front as well, as you can see there. Um, works great. Factory body, no tube doors or anything yet. Got my high lift and my shovel mounted up on the roof rack. And then I'll show you guys the interior and I'll get you out of here. Interior's pretty nice. I like it. Fucking my goddamn husky though. I have a husky. As you can see, she fucking ruined my seat. The seats were in perfect condition. Look at the passenger side. I mean, these are all the stock seats and stuff. And really pisses me off that she did that. But whatever. It's my fault. I left them where she could get them. I had them out of the truck. Forgot to put them in my garage and lock them up one night. And well, that's what fucking happens. Uh, built the door panels. Biddle built. My name is Justin Biddle. Uh, it's kind of my stereo company I had going for a while. Didn't work out. Just kind of ran out of work. But built all the wood panels and everything got six and a half components these are infinity kappa perfects tweeters up here um, got the gauge pod banks pyrometer and boost gauge uh, turbo setup runs about nine pounds of boost have the newer style dakota digital gauges but they're analog gauges um, i'll turn the key on real quick so you can check that out i really like these these are nice um, it's got tripometer, it's got clock, it's got zero to 60 time, it's got quarter mile time, really has anything you could want. Um, CB, got my CB in here, gotta have that up. I know I have a thing for a uh, twin stick kit, I don't have it right now, I had purchased it and then some things came up and I actually had to sell it, so sucks, but I'm, I'm gonna get doublers, it's, it's gonna happen, I don't know when, but I'm gonna get dual cases in this thing, I'll have a triple stick shifter set up in here. Got my Streamlight, um, my auxiliary power supply so I can charge my phone, my Streamlight and everything while we're out wheeling. Um, back, back's in awesome condition too. Still gotta build the side panels. Still gotta cover my wires, my batteries back there. So both batteries are back there. And got my Blazing Biddle dash cover. Got some four and a half inch coaxes uh, built into the dash. I built the dash, well at least rebuilt it, put the speaker grills and stuff in them um, in the factory location. And I, I just, I really love the uh, the gauge cluster setup, it's all awesome. I'm so happy I went with this. And then I'll fire her up for you, we'll do another little walk around and got my glow plug button down here, put it on manual just because it works better. Fires right up. This is for the gauge cluster. Um, allows you to switch between different modes on the cluster. This is for my rock lights. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, everybody, there's the full walk around to Ingrid, and hope you guys tune in.